but you're still young. I'm very young, yeah. Like <laughs> it's it's crazy to to see people who are this young with like so much drive. Like, would you say that you've always been driven from like a young age or always, bro? Like always. Like I've done like a lot of things, you know, like um I've always had like the grind mindset and like the business mindset, you know, like for example, like uh Corona pandemic, you know, I lost like I was like working as a uh, how do you say like when you work in a restaurant and yeah, as like a a waiter or waiter. Yeah, I was yeah. a waiter, you know. But you know, obviously, like those people lost their jobs because of the restrictions and all that, you know. Yeah, but I had no job, bro. But I just bought like a brand new car, bro. Like so, yeah. So yeah, it messed me up. Bro. Like, <laughs> so I like I paid like for my insurance once, and then Corona came. I was like, shit. Oh, but oh. yeah, and I was like, I I still had like some money stacked, you know. And they was always saying like yo only two more weeks. So I was like just spending that money because I oh, was only two, two weeks, more you know. Weeks, yeah. After two months, I was like shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I had like two hundred euros. I was like, fuck, what am I gonna do? You know? So I was thinking like I had no job. I was like going everywhere. Nobody wanted to give me a job, you know. I was like, fuck it. Like I got inspired by someone, like some YouTube guy. He was like cleaning shoes, bro. He was cleaning shoes, like and making them brand new. I was like, I got 200 years left, you know what I'm going to do? With it. I just like, I bought like a lot of products to like uh, keep shoes clean and all of that. So I started doing that, bro. I made like an Instagram page. Yeah. I started selling, bro. Like I made like 100 euros, like an half an hour, bro. Like I, oh, dang. Yeah, I made like, I bought like a lot of uh, shoe shields from AliExpress. Yeah, yeah. Like 100. Oh, the ones to put in like yeah, Jordans. Yeah, the shoes. And... They weren't like in storage, you know. I don't know why, but yeah, I yeah, saw yeah. them. I was like, shit, that's, that's dope, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, no, of course. And then I, I bought like 200 of them. I sold them like five year each, bro. Yeah. I made like 1K from there. And I was like, fuck, bro. And I oh, started wow. cleaning shoes, you know. Like I went on vacation and all of the like during Corona, bro. Like yeah. <laughs> I was living better than uh, I lived when I had a job, you know. Yeah. So I've always had that mindset, you know, like. Um, when I have like money and it might finish, you know, I'm I'm be like, yo, I need to make more, you know, like I need yeah. to be creative to so I've always had it, you know. But like even even just that mindset of like you lost your job. Yeah, yeah. Most people who lose their jobs will go into some complaining free where it's like they just yeah, you just kind of keep digging your hole, right? It's like, oh, I don't have a job. My life yeah. sucks. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. You I, decided to like kind of go into business. First of all, something you'd never done before. No, nah, like never, before bro. that, right? So like, it's also like what you tend to see a lot with business people is like they're not scared to take risk. Yeah, yeah. right. Because yeah. like there will always be noise, right? There will always be people chatting, saying shit. Like, like how will you do that? Or like. Even just like question why you're dreaming so big. Because yep. they don't see themselves doing what you're doing. Yeah. So then they place their own insecurities on, on you. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Definitely. Which, is, which to me is kind of disrespectful. Like, why are you coming to me with your insecurities? <laughs> but that's, but that's, <laughs> like, that's what I said. Like, uh, also like uh, to just follow up on you. Uh, also when you like are making it a little bit, you know, like the same people will come at you like, Yo, what you're doing is so wonderful, you know. Yeah. But there are also the people who are like telling you that yo, it's like it's a risk and all that. Yeah. You know? So that's what I said. Like, don't lose yourself into those people, you know, because yeah. they'll you'll make like small steps that they wouldn't make, and they'll make you feel like yo, you did something great, you know. Yeah, you'll lose yourself into that, you know, because Not they're true. like a bit like more small minded than you, you know. Like, yeah, you don't search for the validation at those people, you know. Like, yeah, that's what I meant with it, you know. Yeah, no, for sure. It's, uh, I think, in a sense, it could be perceived as a superpower, right? Nice. Like, no, but just like valuing your own, let's say, opinion and like determination over what other people are saying. Like, not everyone has, let's say, like the skin to kind of take it on. Yeah. Like, we hear so many stories of like people who, I say wanted to be a singer, wanted to be a football player, like anything and everything. But oh, because my mom said this when I was younger, or my teacher said I was never smart. Yeah, like yeah. people tend to kind of like 
repeat all these like you can'ts and it ends up translating in their lives because they they start to kind of believe what other people are saying yeah, yeah, yeah. but like if you have your own vision for yourself right like no one or nothing should be able to kind of stop you from reaching that goal but, but it's also like in your nature i'm just like a in normal life i'm just like i don't really care about people you know like saying <laughs> no nah, i care about oh. people you know like, oh, I, didn't, I didn't stop there uh. i didn't stop there <laughs> don't make me look like that bro <laughs> no, no, no. I, no, I don't care about people like having opinions and and trying to like it can be toxic maybe you know but i don't yeah i don't care bro like yeah and that's what makes me that way you know yeah that's what uh yeah because if i listen to those people you know i wouldn't be doing what i do now you know so for some people, it might be a curse. For some people, it might be blessing. And right now, I'm feeling blessed, you know. So. Oh, no, of course. Yeah. <laughs> they had like six drops. All, all of them sold out? Uh, yeah, like, mo- yeah, 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 yeah. But not like in the same time period, but at yeah, the yeah. end of the road. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah.